Today in the spotlight, joining us is one of the most famous South Asian actors and comedians, Rupin Bao. Hey. Why? <laughs> Rupin started his journey with a collaboration with a fellow Canadian YouTuber, Just Rain. Working together, the duo got millions of views. Rupin also starred in two Indian movies and manages his own YouTube channel, Rupin Ball TV. So let's shine the spotlight on his road to fame. Thank you so much for joining me, Rupin. No problem. Thanks for having me. It's downright blessing having you here because you know what? I'll tell you a story. When I was starting up the spotlight, people used to always ask me, what do you want out of this show? What would you define as success? So I would always tell them, I want the spotlight to be so successful that one day when I email Ruben Bell and ask him to come on the show, he says yes. No, it's my pleasure. So it's my thank pleasure. you so much for giving me this opportunity. Now you started uh, your journey as collaboration with Just Rain. Yes. And uh, you played so many characters like Yo-Yo Maple Syrup Singh and the rowdy drunk uncle. But your most liked character till date has been Punjabi mother. Always, yeah. So how does it feel when people walk up to you, uh, especially cute girls, and they say, Rupert, you're exactly like my mom. No, it's, it's not really girls. It's like all of her parents too, uh, the yeah. kids. Uh, they come up to me and they're like, how do you do that? I'm like, I, I feel like the mom character is such a strong character, uh -huh. uh, especially moms. They're such a universal thing. Like even look at any religion, culture, yeah. moms are always the same. They share the same, uh, like caring, sharing mm -hmm. yeah. persona. Like clean your room. Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. what I did, I pretty much summed up everything together and yeah. made one universal character. Uh -huh. That's my mom and that's your yeah. mom. So, oh, yeah. so when I do act that, mm -hmm. it fits everyone. So that's the reason I can, I feel like it relates to every single person. Yeah. And it's the most lovable character. Mm -hmm. Now, when you guys were making these videos, did you and Just Rain sit down and say that, okay, the mom's character is going to be like this? Or was it just pure improvisation? It's always improvisation. Like, we never plan anything. Like, really? literally, we just come up with the concept. We have this uh, notes one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Yeah. From dialogue yeah. to the character formation. It yeah. just happens in the front of camera. Uh -huh. And it's really funny. Like, sometimes we don't even know what we're going to say. Uh, uh, sometimes, like even yesterday, me and Justin were working on the video, so we were coming with a character, new character, mm -hmm. uh, factory worker uncles, yeah. and it just happens. Like I don't even know like how that character just comes up with me. I saw these people performing yeah. probably like five years ago. Uh -huh. I've seen them, yeah. and that character li relives through me, mm -hmm. and it just comes in front of camera. So I feel like the mom character, same thing happened over there. I've seen my mom from years, seen other moms from years, yeah, and the way they act. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my brain captures everything and uh, the character lives in the videos all the time. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, your improvisation worked and yeah. you're a YouTube star now. Yeah. So did you always plan on becoming a public figure and acting in movies and videos? Uh, for me, the journey started in 05. I came to Canada mm -hmm. and uh, I never felt that I will enter this field because yeah. I always used to make fun of this. Yeah. Uh, this cliche comedy mm -hmm. uh, and the movies like the Bollywood movies, when you look at that, I'm like, how how would this person dance? And I initially wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. Wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, did my undergrad at yeah. Guelph University. Like a typical brown guy yes, dreams, doctor, lawyers, lawyers, engineers. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that happened. But over there, I met this amazing personality, Just <laughs> Rain. And yeah. funny thing, we never used to like each other. We you didn't like each other? Never. Oh, how yeah. come? Uh, it's just his, we always do have same, we want to share, the, we don't want to share the spotlight, uh -huh. but we wanted the same spotlight. Okay, and so your was, it was yeah. a personality clash. clash. Yeah. So did you guys, tell us a bit about how it all started. Like, did you guys have mutual friends? How did you meet? So golf being a white town, yeah. we only had like 50 brown people over there, like Pakistanis mm -hmm. including, uh, Asians including, and we were just chill used to chill is called place called immigrants play, uh, spot yeah it was a cafeteria just golf. 50 people yeah. just chilling at all one the place time. Yeah. yeah so it was a cafeteria and uh over there just used to come and i used to chill over there yeah two o'clock all the time yeah and even he knows that if he's watching the video after oh, wow yeah <laughs> i hope he watches yeah. so <laughs> it's a funny uh thing like he used to come mm -hmm. i look at him and he used to look at me and yeah. that, that was it <laughs> what? 
<laughs> and we did that for one month. Such strong hatred. Yeah. <laughs> Who uh, could have imagined? It was, just, yeah. it was just a funny, funny thing. Uh, I just remember that. Mm -hmm. And then we used to have steam elective classes. Yeah. Because uh, he was doing his... Uh, marketing business degree and yeah. I was doing my criminology but we used to have same elective classes and one time I saw him performing uh, an interview uh -huh. uh, I was amazing like mm -hmm. I was just moved by it and then he showed me about YouTube he's the one who introduced me to YouTube so you you, s you watched him pres present something yes. and then you guys you walked up to him yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we just okay. talked and okay. then he told me about YouTube it's like this is what YouTube is and then back then the YouTube just started too. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was 2009. Like yeah, YouTube, it was new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, that happened. And I was like, okay, let's work on something. And then we came with this, uh, he had this concept, this appearance. Uh huh. And then we started working. Then I had my ideas. Yeah. I'm like, maybe you can do this way, this mm -hmm. way. And we came with the our first video, this appearance. Yeah. And that was the. It just took off. And you came up with the character, the mom, yeah. and all the everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we couldn't believe that a lot of uh theme yeah and uh the career we build on it yeah that could ever happen yeah it was just that video that it started went everything viral yes yeah. yeah next day i had to go to a gurdwara uh -huh. and people were just <laughs> around me and my mom was like what the hell is going on why people are around you and she was yeah, confused what did, yeah what did your mom say about she never she, like for one and a half year i never told her what's going on what sort of god <laughs> i used to go to no frills uh food basics fortinos and people coming up taking pictures and she's like what's going on like are you famous are you doing something in university yeah uh, why aren't you telling me something mm -hmm. i never told her because i was afraid and then she started hearing through her friends mm -hmm. this is what your like friend is doing the yeah, your yeah. son is doing yeah and uh i'm like mom and she saw the video was she was she mad yeah she yeah. was really mad really she's okay. like what the hell is this yeah why are you dressed like a woman because I feel now when parents uh, find out that their son or daughter are involved in YouTube Art. business, yeah. they're kind of proud. Uh, yeah. Because it's become more conventional. It's more, yeah. Because yeah. I was the first guy probably in this universe to take a man on YouTube to take a chunni. Oh, yeah. yeah. True, so true. I never yeah. heard of, or because of YouTube, the whole platform just started. Uh -huh. So YouTube was something open source of video source, uploading source for everyone. Uh -huh. So I feel like I was the only person... Uh, who started this doing that yeah the mom character mm -hmm. and it was so uh, bad for her to like to look at that like yeah. why my son is doing that yeah is something wrong with his own image or character or whatever is going on and then she finally took it in she's like you know what there is something you're doing you're making people laugh uh -huh. and it's really good um, now I was reading one of your interviews and you mentioned that you are gonna be working on an Indo-Canadian film yeah. soon, and it will be an English film. Yeah. So tell us a bit about that. Oh, so uh, I'm working, uh, this is the first time I'm producing. So I've done co-productions before. Mm -hmm. So this is my full production mm -hmm. uh, under my own production house. Yeah. And uh, it's a big budget movie, uh, having Bollywood stars. I don't wanna name them yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanna describe domestic violence the issue that's very very big in Brampton, uh, Surrey, South Asian communities, South Asian communities. in Canada yeah. or Toronto, and it's like even full like other communities like Filipinos, mm -hmm. like there's so much drama that never has a light on it. Mm -hmm. This domestic violence issue is like I feel like there's so many stories I've heard, yeah. and so I'm working on a movie based on this story. Uh, we're starting our production on 15th October. Mm. and uh, hopefully the release will be happening in 2017. Okay, great. Well, we wish you all the best for that, and thank it's you. a great initiative. So thank you so much for mm. bringing this to light. Thank you. And I would like to ask you, you did two movies recently. Well, not recently, but yeah. in the past. And um, it was Punjabi movies, and you worked in India. So how different was it working in Toronto and working in Punjab? Oh, it's really, really different. My uh, 2013 was the first time I got a call. Uh -huh. uh, from Harpajan Man. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, why would you call me? I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> and it was really funny because they are professional. Yeah. Uh, even not saying we are not, but we are professional. I read but that not, you thought yeah. that it was a prank call. Yes. <laughs> okay. I thought, it, even when the first time Google called, I'm like, why would Google call me when the yeah. first thing happened? And Harpajan Man yeah. called me. I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, are you sure that's you? 
<laughs> and what did he say? It was a, just a funny conversation we had. And like, okay. you know, like, yo, just stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> that is but so funny. Then, I ble- and then I'm like, okay, it was her putting one. That's yeah. amazing. Like yeah. how, uh, how I used to look up to this guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, the whole journey started in 2013. Uh, January, that was a big step from me, from YouTube. Yeah. From a stepping stone. Because mm-hmm. that's the one who... Uh, the platform was given by YouTube, yeah. and uh, I pursued it to movies. Okay, but how was it? How was the um, sort of work ethic, or how were the people in India compared to Toronto? Uh, Toronto and India, they are d- totally different markets. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at uh, even size-wise, India has like they make movie every single day. Mm-hmm. There's a release happening every single day compared to Toronto. Yeah. But uh, being a YouTuber and being an actor, there's a totally different life we're comparing to. That's true. Uh, Toronto has a different life for me over here. Where I was a YouTuber and yeah. over there I was a professional actor mm-hmm. uh, with bigger sets. Yeah. Uh, having my own spot. Yeah. Makeup artist. Things I don't have to worry about yeah. at all over here. Yeah. Uh, over there compared to over here mm-hmm. over here there was no makeup we never did makeup in our any of our videos or uh any bigger sets yeah and over there everything was formed mm-hmm. uh there are big better cameras there were just more people Everything's, working on sets yeah so yeah. It's, it's, this comparison is really like it's mm-hmm. day and night mm-hmm. uh but i love working in india yeah because of the whole uh the way they treat it's you. It's convenient. Yes. Yeah. And that's like they treat you like a star. Yes. Yeah. That's, the, that's the best way yeah. you can see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here you have to like do camera. You everything have to act. Yourself. Everything yourself. Even editing. Editing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you got to be jack of all trades yes. here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We should all move to India. <laughs> but it's good though. It's good. Yeah. You learn a lot of things over here. I think that's the reason I, I progressed so much. Because uh-huh. of uh, learning, hand learning, like, you know, hands-on experience and everything. So it makes a huge difference. Mm-hmm. Now, as much as I don't want to stop talking to you and it'll be hard letting you go, uh, tell us a bit about what we can see in the future. What are some of the projects that you're coming up with, aside from the movie that we talked about? Yeah, uh, so I'm working uh, on music aspect too, uh, even though we made fun of Yo-Yo Maple Syrup uh-huh. and, and all those kinds of characters, and always coming with comedy songs. Uh, we are actually stepping in professionality uh-huh. of music era too. Okay. Uh, we are coming with the like serious trap music songs. videos. Yes. Okay. Serious music videos mm-hmm. and working with the record labels. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be a huge step for me because aside from now, I can I'm, on the shows I'm doing comedy shows. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna be doing concerts too. So it's gonna be a big okay. change. Okay. Uh, hopefully, people are ready for that and stepping modeling as well. Uh huh. Uh, working for bigger banners, mm-hmm. uh, American companies that are moving to India. Okay. So I'll be their face. That's great. So wow. See well, how the God yeah. has for me in the future. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, Ruben. We wish you all the best with all your future projects. And thank you so much for brightening up our lives and making us laugh so many times in your thank videos. You. And to everyone watching, do subscribe to Ruben's channel if you haven't already. I guarantee you there are lots of laughs waiting on the other side. I'm Aishu Sharman. Till next time, keep laughing. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.